Hey everyone, uh, Matt McMahon, H2O Plasma Plug. Um, it's been a while since I've actually done a video. And uh, luckily when I did my last set of videos, I did a bunch in a row. So I wanted to show you how bad it's actually gotten down here. Just got a, just brought my tripod in. That reminds me, we uh, got, we went to uh, some little seminar where Thane Hein, the inventor of the Phytoroid was. But anyways, um, that, I'm hoping it's um, an, an air ionizer of some sort. It's got this big aluminum case, but you need to have a bunch of tools to take it apart. So that thing, I have no idea what that thing is. So it's got a big, big aluminum thing there. So it's got a bunch of motors on this thing. So, um... Okay, so I bought a bike for the um, the Revolution SSG bike, and I gotta take those hard drives apart, get the magnets out, which I've been starting a little collection, and uh, I got all these meters in. I gotta build a box so that way um, I can have uh, a set of a bunch of boxes here. I'll just show one. The you'll know what exactly what I'm talking about. One of these. So I've got uh, milliamps, microamps, uh, different ranges. So I gotta build. A, I gotta build something so I can just keep switching. Um, my buddy Frank, that's been helping me all along with uh, this, um, he gave me this. Another milliamp tester. It's nice and stands up on its own. Goes to 500. And uh, Fresnel lens, I got some size of a sheet for him. Uh, sorry, well, the size of a TV. Um, he gave me two multimeters because he noticed that I was missing, I was only using one. So, and he also gave me the Super Cat, but uh, that's what I really want to show you guys. Lucky what I got. Um, here, I'm just gonna put you another tripod for a second here. This cost me $700 for the parts, I mean, well, for what you're going to see. And it cost, yeah, I want to show you this as well. I want to actually finish this. I don't know if I've shown it in any of my other videos. Um, it is a pancake coil. And it has several different layers. But I used aluminum wire and I actually want to just trade this up with something a little bit better. Um, so yeah, I was going to have a double bus for that. Um, so yeah, and did I have another box somewhere? Because this one doesn't look like it's open. Yeah, there it is. Maxwell super capacitors 2.5 here I'll turn on the light here so 2.5 volt and wherever the 36 oh yeah right above it 3600 farads so I've got 36 of them so um yeah I can't wait to uh, replace the battery from the from what would normally drive a bike motor. Um, so, there's my kitty, Kanga. Kanga! No? Okay. So, so, I got the bike, got the super capacitors. Watch out, Kanga. Um, oh, I got some more goodies coming in the mail. And uh, just order them. Um, a gun for RPM. Sorry about the shoddy camera work. Gotta show you the motor too. So, where is it? Well, that's funny. Well, not really. Oh, I guess. Uh, 
when the kitty's knocked it off. So just turn this around. So there it is, all wired up. So like I said, Bedini, oh sorry, uh, Bedini regular, Bedini regular, so there's six regular and six Bedini wraps. I just have to put numbers on all the wires so that way I know where everything connects and I gotta make a nice big bus bar for it. Yeah, I haven't done much testing since uh, since this, so um, yeah, just gotta, oh yeah, and I uh, drilled the holes out for every set of, so there'll be the two regular wires and the, the two different uh, coils on the one for the Bedini that will go into each one of these holes. And then this will get locked into place, but obviously facing the other way. So they're all organized. And, uh, then we take this. I have, just gotta grab them. It is an absolute mess down here, and it's a real pain in the butt. And uh, I have this when I bought everything. Um, Neodymium magnets, half inch by half inch by uh, one inch. So just so you see them, nice big pack. Cost a lot of freaking money. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I'm gonna put them all around here, and I'm gonna build a different frame for this rather than taking that one. Out. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, rather than taking that one. So, um, the only thing I'm worried about is because it is a Bedini motor, that there might be a chance that um, I won't be able to have it, the Bedini actually function with this. And that's where, down the road, I'm going to have to have something like this, but with just the Bedinis on it, and then have one above, again, with just the, uh, sorry, with just the, the charge one so it'll have two of these so it would have you know, that would be in there and then there would be another one uh, this would be lined up with another ring so um, that shouldn't be too hard to do so I was thinking of getting this dipped um, I think it's probably a good idea either way um, I'm only worried about uh, the varnish or whatever it is the lacquer um, making the the spacing different and maybe throwing it off off balance making it warped so uh, yeah that's uh, that's my little update uh, too much work to do um, oh one thing that happened that was really cool um, I think it was this one it was this one I was able to take this motor it is uh, 115 volt DC uh, Eighth of a horsepower, uh, 0.65 amps continuity duty, um, 4600 RPM. It says MTR 4600 RPM, um, and then the gear ratio is 54 to one. So Let's see if we can get that there. I think that's as close as we're gonna get it. So. Um, the output of the Bedini circuit, which is here, so I've got these big massive resistors from some of my tests, but yeah, you can't see it because the resistors are in the way, I'd have to disconnect everything. Hey sweetie. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the output of the Bedini motor actually had that thing slowly moving so I'm wondering how much it actually did power it you could barely hear it moving but it had some torque it actually had some really surprising torque so it would almost be like and I, I, I can't wait to have the proper amp meters on it to, to test um, I actually have um, so I have an RPM gun coming I have um, so it's the laser gun 
I also have um, a heat uh, heat gun coming. I have um, and I have two DC watt meters coming that I found on eBay. Um, one's for a hundred DC volts at 20 amps, I think it was, and the other one is 60 amps at maybe 60 volts, maybe 100 amps at 60 volts. So I want to go for more of the high volts, so I'm hoping I don't burn it out, and if I do, um, I'd like to uh, see if anybody would like to help find something that could be suitable for that and not cost an arm and a leg, because these were only uh, 16, 17 bucks for these, uh, this you know, these DC watt meters. And the gun was like 14 or $13 for the, the temperature. And the RPM one was around the same price too. So anyways, I have to, um, I'm actually not going to get any work done tonight. It's, uh, it's pretty late. I, uh, it's 11.30. So we've got an update video here. Um, I did also want to show you, I don't think I showed in another video, I've got another DC motor here, and it's um, it's another brushless um, motor, and I'd like to see if it's possible to have this thing spinning, because this thing can pump out a lot of air, or and even suck a lot of air. But yeah, have a good night. Take care. Love you. Peace. Goodbye.